We're back with another incredible custom build from Twisted Wheels. So this is a lightweight gravel bike that's said to weigh just 6.9 kilograms. I'm gonna tell you all about it, go through all the details and explain all the clever component choices and hacks that have been done on this frame to keep the weight as low as possible while maintaining what is a very functional and strong gravel bike. Let's do it. So thanks again to Oleg from Twisted Wheels for sharing this bike with us um, and, and, and telling us all about it. He has his own YouTube channel. So if you want to see some cool builds on there, he does a lot of really cool stuff. Make sure you check it out. The first thing we've got to begin with here is the frame. So it's a Sire. Now, a lot of you can be forgiven for not having heard of, of Sire frames. That's because they're actually a St. Petersburg based brand. And well, they're, they're actually suffered as a result of the the conflict that's happening at the moment between Russia and Ukraine. So that's, that's an unfortunate thing to happen, but this is a really interesting gravel bike. Now, the most unusual thing about this particular gravel frame for me is, is the chainstay length. Now, brace yourselves, we're gonna get a bit nerdy here. So the chainstays are just 420 millimeters long, which is very short for a gravel bike. Now, this has handling implications. It can make the bike feel a bit more snappy and a bit more sharp and responsive when you sort of accelerate and things. Uh, but the downside of it is that it limits you in terms of tyre clearance and also chainring size. Now they've got around this by having an incredibly thin chainstay here. Now this is, um, well, apparently it's solid carbon, so it's still strong, but incredibly thin. It's bulkier on the non-drive side, but that allows you to still have that big tire clearance. So I've actually got 50 mil tires um, in on this build, and well, there's, there's loads of clearance there, and a 40 tooth chain ring. So yeah, plenty of space. While I'm in this area, I'm going to tell you a bit about the drivetrain because there's weight savings there. So uh, we've got a one by setup. It's lighter than having two chain rings. And we've got a lightweight chain ring that's uh, made by a company called Garbarook. It's machined out of aluminium and it, it looks great. You can see all the sort of machine lines on it. The cassette is an 1146, but weight saving once again because this is a rotor cassette, a very, very light option um, for a cassette of that size. I've just also spotted on the on the down tube there. It's, it's quite nice. It says "Baked with Love" in St. Petersburg, and then there's a peace symbol, which is nice. Um, the pedals on there they're, they're a standard component, but they're Egg Beaters, um, Crank Brothers Egg Beaters 11, so the lightest uh, Crank Brothers uh, Egg Beater pedal that you can get. Um, and they're on SRAM Red Cranks, where he's done. You know, he did this same thing on um, his lightweight Athos build that we showed on the channel previously just to maintain the, the aesthetic of the bike and, and keep everything you know, matching and smart, he's covered up the logos with uh, some black vinyl just to, just to stealth and murder them out. But yeah, looks really nice. Now the wheels are a, a big weight saving area on the bike. Uh, I've been told that they weigh just 990 grams a pair and they've been built by Oleg himself. So the hubs are made by a Chinese company called H-Works. And he's, I like this, he's made some like custom little graphics um, of his own Twisted Wheels logo that have gone on there. That looks really smart. Um, and then they've laced with Sapim spokes and then these are light bicycle rims. The same rims actually that were on his custom Athos build. They are rated for gravel use and they save weight by not needing any uh, tape in them. Um, they're just a, a carbon rim. And well, apparently the, these are a very, very, very strong wheels. I'll take his word for it. Uh, one of the things that's on them is these uh, Schwalbe uh, Furious Fred tires. Now, you can't get these anymore. They're out of production, but they're incredibly light for a 50 mil gravel tire, just 360 grams. So that in a gravel build, huge weight saving. Um, we've also, while we're on the subject here, uh, we've got some very light rotors um, and the weight saving that's been done on the brake calipers too. So these are Hope calipers, four piston uh, calipers instead of the standard SRAM calipers, which are two piston. But when you change the brake pads on them to aluminium backing plate ones, you can actually make them slightly lighter than the SRAM ones. So a weight saving there and you get four pistons. The rotors are center lock uh, on these hubs um, and they're a brand that I've not heard of before. Again, another Chinese brand, 
Quaxar um, is the name of them. And well, they're a bit lighter than, than what you can get elsewhere. So um, I've been told 90 grams for these. So to put that into context, like a, a Shimano uh, Ice Tech rotor, you're looking at about 110, 120 grams. So yeah, significant sort of weight weenie saving. Um, but this isn't a total weight weenie build, you know, that it is designed to be functional. And evidence of that is there's just paint protection film all over the place for bike packing bags and just to protect against stone chips and stuff. So we've got it in the fork here, got it on the down tube, you've got it on the, on the back where the seat stays joined too. So moving on to the, the cockpit of the bike, we've got a Pro Discover uh, carbon handlebar on here. Very nice with the cables routed uh, through. It's 44 centimeters wide and has a nice flare on it. Ideal for gravel riding. Now the shifters on here are SRAM rival uh, access. So wireless to the, the red rear mech compatible with that. People are probably going on a, on a lightweight build. Why didn't you go for SRAM red? Well, this is good. Right. Firstly, the cost, the rival ones, significant saving of, of, of money. Um, but also the weight difference, he reckons it's only 12 grams, right? And by changing the hardware of the clamp, so changing the uh, clamp bolt, the clamp nut and the washer to titanium ones, he reckons he saved that 12 grams back. So it's the same weight as a red one and he prefers the shape of, of the rival lever because the rival and the force levers have now been updated with a, with a newer shape and improved ergonomics. The red one, at the time of making this video, hasn't yet. You suspect that probably is going to happen in the future, but at the moment, prefers the shape of them. So, weight saving, cost saving, great mod, really like that. The, uh, the stem on here, um, Again, eagle-eyed viewers may be able to spot this is actually a Bontrager triple uh, X uh, stem, carbon, and well, top marks if you spotted that. It's in custom painted to match the rest of the frame and color matched. Very, very smart, but it has to be functional too. And another good example of that is, is the bottle cage. It's a Bjorn carbon cage, still very light, 20 grams, but it's a lot more sturdy than say the, uh, the, the carbon works cages that are just eight grams, which on a road bike are okay but you know on a gravel bike they're not going to stand up to, to rough treatment so yeah interesting choice so the saddle and seat posts that he's added on here are made by bjorn um although this saddle is 3d printed which is really cool although i'm told it's 125 grams which is very impressive for a 3D printed saddle. Um, for example, the Physique sort of Arioni 3D printed saddles around 200 grams. So yeah, good weight saving there. And it, yeah, it feels like it's got some nice, nice cushioning on it. That's proper cool. We can see more PPF um, a fit to the bike here. Um, and the bottom bracket on this bike is a T47, which seems to be what every single new bike now has. All the bikes that Eurobike had it, it's, it's a big trend. Uh, the frame weight for this, it's a size 56, is around 1,200 grams. And the fork is said to be about 500 grams, just under. So it's it's a solid gravel bike where it, it, that's not super light for it's light but it's not super light for a gravel bike where the weight savings have been made in this build are well i'd say a large part of it's the wheels but also just clever component choices so i'm going to weigh it just to check the weight with the gcn scales of truth and let's also chat to oleg to learn a little bit more about it so six well it's coming out at 6.81 which means it's 10 grams off being UCI legal. I'm joined now by Oleg, who, who's made this incredible build. Thanks for, thanks for sharing it with us and letting oh, us come welcome. and film it. But what, what led you to, to sort of create it? Uh, well, when I was building uh, my gravel bike, I wanted it to be as versatile as possible. But at the same time, I wanted to achieve these clean looks um, which would include the fully invisible cable route and well it's not fully invisible but we'll talk about this a bit later. I wanted a short geometry so this bike <clears throat> has a very short base yeah. and it actually rides pretty much like my road bike which I, which I like. It, not, not for everyone but I prefer this type of gravel bikes rather than uh, what is uh, more modern uh, gravel geometry let's say with the longer um, front triangle and longer chain stays. On your Athos build that you showed us before, yeah, you modified it to have the cables like completely internally routed. But on this one, I can see you've still got the cables 
underneath. That's right. So is there a reason why you, why you've done that? I actually I just spotted <clears> as well. This <laughs> is a, a repurposed uh, top cap off a, a Cannondale, Cannondale. Actually, yeah. This is like a Super Six, the old Super Six top cap. That, that's right. Uh, good spot, actually. Uh, yeah, the frame comes with the um, stand spaces that have holes in it so that you can route cables internally, but they are aluminum, so to save some weight, and actually I like how it looks, um, I use the carbon Cannondale um, spacer and basically cut the holes with a Dremel for the internal cable routing. And the reason why I actually like that these cables are exposed slightly or, or on, on this frame is because I can swap this stem to Redshift Sport suspension stem, which I quite like on my gravel. And I even use it for my cyclocross racing because it absorbs all the vibrations. And if I, if I had fully invisible cables routing like on my Atus, this wouldn't be possible. <laughs> you will have to cut and reroute all the cables yeah. every time you do that. Ah, that's interesting. And what's the, what are these bar end stops on there as well? Bar ends are made by Tune. Um, I'm guessing they're light then. Most things Tune make are really light. More, yeah, they are, they are light. Not the, as light as uh, one gram end caps on my Atus, but I I like them because they have bolts, so they are uh, like they hold really well. So secure so for a secure gravel bike. Secure for right? a gravel bike, exactly for bike packing. So if you uh, lean it against the wall. So you, you've been bike packing on this. It's fully tried and tested, and you've done cross on it and everything. Yes. If you were going to make it lighter, what would you do? You must. I'm, I'm sure you've got an idea. Uh, well, there are there are some ideas, and actually, I have an idea of building sub six gravel bikes. Bike. Um, but to make this one lighter, <clears throat> I think I can actually swap the wheels with my Aters because they are gravel approved. Uh, so extra light hubs with carbon spokes and six bolt rotors will make it another 150 grams lighter. I can swap the stem for extra light again uh, without actually losing any functionality or strength in this bike. But yeah, I think seven, seven or 6.8 kilograms for a gravel bike is already very light. Quite happy with it, but yeah, like I said, wow. Well, stay tuned. <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks for showing us the bike. No, thanks and for coming. Like, you know, if, well, if you build a sub six kilogram uh, gravel bike, we want to know about it. I'll so let if you, you, know, if you yeah. want to see it, then let us know in the comments and also give this video um, a thumbs up, especially if you if you like the, the build that Oleg's done. I think it's mega. Um, Thank you. And yeah, thanks so much for showing it to us. We'll uh, we'll catch you in the next one.